All right, this one's gonna be on key mod. This is a little program here that will display uh, whatever you're typing or whatever you're clicking. Uh, let's say I have my mouse here and I will click my left, middle, or right. It'll show up there. And even the modifier keys like Shift, Alt, and the super key, Alt, right? Uh, so that's what's for for people that want to make screencasts. And so then you have some other options in here. Right click on here. Uh, you can get rid of the borders. You know, by default, I think they have it, but uncheck it if you don't want to. And the settings. These are basically the keys that it can capture. And this is like uh, extra spaces if you're a fast typer or whatever. All right, you can you know enable up to four. So they have you know one, two, three, four here. But when you're typing really quick, it actually has six spaces. Right, that will fill up here. And miscellaneous. Uh, if you're like a left-handed person, then you can swap it if you want. Uh, this next one is for people that emulates, you know, the the middle mouse button. And this next one is the highlight uh, mouse click or the visible mouse click, whatever. Not really that impressed, but this is what it does here. If you click on anywhere. I'll just show up the red little red uh, circle around it and the windows it just brings that little border back uh, this other one is if you don't want to you know show single strokes you want to do like combos like for example control uh, J or something or alt uh, O or something like that All right only for combos you can't do like single strokes okay um, <clears throat> what else is they have in here for example, if um, this one is for scale, if you want to go smaller, you can do smaller. And they do have different themes. So right now we're on the classic theme, but if we switch over to Oblivion, you know, I'll show you how it looks like it's typing and the modifier keys and the buttons here. All right. Um, what else is there? The Apple. Let's see how it looks like. It's just black text and yeah, black too. And this one they have like a little uh, teal color. And the modern one, which is white also, so it look like that. Control and clicking. All right. Kind of like the classic one. It makes more sense to me. Uh, if you ever have any problems to save any of this, probably is you want to um, exit the program like this. And then start it up again. Um, let's test it out here with something that we might do. Like, for example, if you use like Gedit, I'm not sure it's actually good for like typing programs because um, I don't know. Like the human eyes can't capture, you know, what you're typing really quick in here. But I'm giving you an example. Happy 2012. <laughs> end of the world and we'll put that in single quotes um, and we'll put that by the Mayans All right. so do something like that I'm not sure if I'll actually recommend it for people that are doing typing programs or screencasts I mean but for like uh, point and click um, you know simple modifier keys like when you're doing like a, a GIMP tutorial or some kind of drawing tutorial, maybe that's like more suited for this program. As far as for typing, you know, if you type really quick, uh, the human eyes can't really capture all this, um, you know, in a short amount of time. But if you do like simple modifier keys like Control S or something, you know, then then that's uh, or if you're typing like really slow, then that that makes sense. But as far as for like pure typing uh, to capture it on here I would say a no right anyways that's the program you can get it in your repositories by just doing um, you know on a Debian basis just app get install uh, key mod and, and that's it that's how you get the program anyways that's it for this one uh, if you want to do screencast you can do that